Hello everybody, it's Dark World 1030 here, and over the next few days, well I would say the next two weeks will be video game weeks. Um they're gonna be solely dedicated to video games. Yes, I'm still going to the gym and everything. Um yeah, I cannot wait. Final Fantasy got an 8.5 from GameStop to GameSpot today. IGN postponed the review till Monday. Which, you know, I really don't care now. I don't care for reviews because they're all over the place. Some people give it a 5, some people give it a 6, some people give it an 8, some people give it a 10, some people give it a 9. So, really, it's basically your own opinion of Final Fantasy nine, uh, 13. So, whatever it is to you is what it is to you. So, really, you cannot trust reviews on games like Final Fantasy because they're completely biased and they're their own opinion and it has to be your opinion in order for you to enjoy it. Now, my God. I just spoiled myself for God of War 3. Oh my God. This is going to contain spoilers. So please cut off the video if you do not want to hear it. Okay. Alright. Okay, that should have been enough time for anybody. If you're still here, that means you're going to hear the spoiler. God of War 3, if you've never heard of it before, it's a Greek mythology game. It's not based off of the real Greek mythology, but basically it's a character named Kratos. And and it's just, this is the third installment, and I just saw the first boss battle, which is actually Poseidon is the first boss battle, actually. You fight him on Gaia, and... Oh my god! <laughs> the torture scene is just amazing! How Kratos tortures Poseidon is unbelievable. Never in my life have I seen something so unbelievable. And it's all gameplay. Here's what Kratos does. Alright? Oh my god. What he does is that there's a there's a sequence scene where you gotta push, you know, the certain buttons at the right time, and if you keep the keep going. So what he does is that he throws one of his blades of Athena all the way into one of Leviath one of the Leviathan horses. He jumps and flies up into the air. Gr hits R you hit R1 again, you go into another one and basically you're gaining like r speed. Then you go right through the Poseidon uh Poseidon god and then he brings out like, you know, the human form of the god. He'll fall into a mountain. Kratos will jump on the mountain too. And basically, he's like weak. Kratos will just start grabbing him. But what's interesting about it is that you don't see it from Kratos' point of view. You see it from Poseidon's point of view of how Kratos is killing him. So you see how he's grabbing his head. And you see the shaking. And you see Kratos' evil eyes and stuff like that. And then he's punching him and punching him. And, and then he kicks him in the stomach and everything. You see all that. Then at the end, just when you think that Kratos got enough, Poseidon's trying to crawl, and you see him trying to crawl to the edge of the cliff to jump off. But what happened is, is that Kratos grabs him and pushes out his eyes. I'm like, oh my god! And then Kratos kicks him off the freaking um, off the off the mountain. I'm like, oh my god! This is crazy. Already the game has been getting reviews that are outstand uh, outstanding, I mean. And I'm like, oh, wow, it's getting a 9 point, it, get, it got a 9 somewhere, and it got a 9.5, and a 5 out of 5. So, this one is looking more promising than Final Fantasy, I hate to say that, but, you know, these two games I'm anticipating the most. So, if Final Fantasy disappoints me, I got God of War th 3. So, if... You know, it doesn't matter because I'm I'm I believe I will enjoy both. Um, I'll probably side one over the other, but yeah. Anyways, like I said, this is gonna be video game week or two weeks. So the first week starting next week, which will be starting Sunday, will be from day will be Sunday will be from um what you call it? Sunday, Monday. No, I'm sorry. Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday are going to be dedicated to Final Fantasy 13. One is going to be the preview day, you know, the day before, you know, Monday. 
uh, like IGN's review on it and you know like the excitement that I'm going to feel for it then uh, Tuesday will be the game that I have in the hand and I will be showing an unboxing video of it and you know it's putting it on PlayStation 3 and whatnot but that's pretty much all you're going to see then in Wednesday you're going to see you're going to see like uh, my first impressions of the game and then at the end of the week I'll probably update it a little more because I won't be able to play it as much and then I'm going to get God of War 3 and then it would be the same thing for that week but just for God of War 3 so I am excited I just saw GameSpot's review it's an 8.5 if you haven't watched it it's a video review so go to GameSpot.com and just watch the review I'm pretty sure it will be put on YouTube sometime later if you don't get to this video but it's 1.14 p.m. in the Eastern Standard Time so basically yeah that's something that you gotta watch it's like it's amazing so many things it's just it's amazing so amazing now one more thing about Final Fantasy 13 let me go back to Final Fantasy 13 for a second never in like in this game there's no NPCs which means no person to talk to you know you can't you can't go into you know a town and talk to people but from what I'm seeing in these reviews you can talk to people but you just can't go into and there are towns per se it's not like humongous towns or cities or anything but it's just like little small areas where you go so yeah the first 25 hours are linear that's all they're saying and then you get freedom you get freedom after the first 25 hours so the first 25 hours are linear you really can't do anything until chapter 13 with the Crystarium system and and all that stuff yeah it Final Fantasy tortures you to learn how to learn the game mechanics so if you're not into that you gotta get used to it because Final Fantasy is going to do that to you and that's what's gonna happen um, anyways uh, the story supposedly is one of the greatest amongst all of them. There's just an exception that Vanel is a, an annoying person, and uh, she, I don't know. It's just she's just annoying. Supposedly that's what they're saying, and I don't know. Like you know, in typical Japanese, there's that one girl that says, "With hope, together we can overcome many odds and friendship and all that stuff." That one, that type of girl. That's I'm guessing what they assume that that's what it is. So, anyways, guys, I hope you guys have a great day. If you guys are um, anticipating Final Fantasy 13, please like let me know if you guys played it. Let me know your your thoughts on it, but please don't give me any spoilers, as though as therefore I don't want to see anything about it. God of War three, I already spoiled myself. Just the first ten it was the first boss fight, and that was it. So like, I don't want to know anymore. It is so freaking beautiful and amazing. I'm going to hook up my PS3 to the TV downstairs, and I'm going to put on my Turtle Beach headphones with surround sound i'm just not, i don't want to be bothered and that's it so i hope you guys have a great day peace out dark ruler 1030